So now, the kinematics part. Let's look at the equation for acceleration. Okay. Um, we can split this general rigid body motion into translation and rotational portion, right? And apply it to point D, okay? So equals translation, okay? According to acceleration to point B plus the rotational acceleration, which has two components, tangent and normal component, right? For the tangent component equals to R alpha. The normal component equals to R omega square, which involves omega, okay, angular velocity, which means that we need to first find velocity before we can find acceleration, okay? So, let's first look at velocity. So, let's first look at this link AB, which is rotating about point A, okay? So, it's pure rotation about point A. Now, omega AB is given at 300 RPM, so velocity of B goes straight up, Okay, so it goes straight and vertical up. And then you can also draw acceleration vectors. There are two components, acceleration tangent component and the normal component. Okay, since point B travels along a curved circular path. Now, however, this tangent component of acceleration, since it's equal to R alpha, and alpha for this link right here, for point B is zero because it's constant velocity. Okay? So rate of change of velocity is zero. Therefore, tangent component is zero. Normal component is R omega square. Okay? And omega is this guy right here, 300 RPM. And you need to convert it to radians per second. Okay, so 2 pi over 60. Okay. So that's 5, 5 times 2, 10 pi radian per second. Okay. And you can find then this acceleration of B, okay, normal component. Okay. So in fact, acceleration of B equals the normal component, which equals to R omega square AB R AB okay, which is given 60 millimeter which is 0 0.06 meters times omega AB which is 10 pi square and that is 1.885 meter per second square okay Actually, uh, that is 59.2176 meters per second squared. Okay. And the direction of this acceleration is in the negative i direction. Okay? So, since I define i as uh, positive going to the right. And this velocity of B can be found by using this equation, which is R times omega. That's all. Okay. And again, this R is the R going from A to B, which is the length of AB, okay, times omega AB. So that's 0.06 times pi. That's 1.885 meter per second. Alright? So now we've found velocity and acceleration of point B. Okay? And this velocity goes straight up so that positive J direction. Okay. So now we can proceed for length BD. Okay? Now, we might eventually we would like to find omega, okay, omega of B D. Okay? So to find velocity or angular velocity, I'm gonna use the instantaneous center method. Okay? 
So you draw BD, and then you draw the velocities at B and at D. So from this picture right here, we know that VB goes straight up. Okay, we found that to be 1.885. And then velocity D is not known at this point. We don't know whether this goes to left or right. Okay? Now, but for instance, in method, it should be able to tell us okay, which direction this velocity D goes. Now, for instance, in method, you construct the vertical line, and then a second vertical line, okay, I mean a perpendicular line to the velocity at D. You do know that D has to go either to the left or right. So the line perpendicular to that is straight down. Okay? So this point with these two lines intersect is my instantaneous center. So instantaneous center point O okay, is the point that has zero velocity and it is as if it is attached to this rigid body B D by these two imaginary strings. Okay? And as this this whole thing is rotated about point D at this instant. Which means that this thing is rotating, okay, at one piece, in one piece, at right, about point O. So since VB goes straight up, so the only way the velocity of D can go is to the right, okay. So that's my VD. So now for instantaneous center, L O B L O D. So my omega VD equals VB divided by LOB also equals to VD LOD, but we're not interested in this. So we can just use this right here to find the omega BD. So omega BD equals VB, which is 1.885, divided by LOB, which is up here, 0.24 meters. And that's 7.854 radian per second. Okay? And that's clockwise direction. Okay? So omega BD go clockwise. Okay, so now with velocity found, now we're in a good position to proceed to find acceleration. Okay.